Development still unfolding in that school shooting near Seattle today. We are learning more about the shooter, identified as Jalen Freiberg, a student who was recently crowned freshman class homecoming prince. Police tonight say he killed one student and shot four others, including two of his own cousins, before turning the gun on himself. This is something that we dread it. Our community is going to mourn this for years. The shooting happened at Marysville Pilchuck High School, north of Seattle. Ryan Nobles reports. It is the kind of call no parent wants to receive. My son had called me up and, and you know, right as it, right after it happens, his dad, dad, please come get me. There's, there's been a shooting, someone's shooting, and there's a gun. It was around 10.30 a.m. Pacific time. Students gathered in a crowded cafeteria at Marysville Pilchuck High School, 40 miles north of Seattle, when fellow students and eyewitnesses say freshman Jalen Freiberg opened fire. And at first I thought it was just someone making a really loud noise with like a bag, like a big loud pop, until I heard four more after that. And I, I saw three kids just fall from the table. Freiburg was considered to be a well-liked student and was recently elected freshman homecoming prince. The scene he created in the cafeteria was chaotic. I jumped under the table as fast as I could. And when it stopped, I looked back up and I saw he was trying to reload his gun. And when that happened, I just ran in the opposite direction and I was out of there as fast as I could. Three of the injured students were taken to a nearby hospital where they immediately went into surgery. A fourth was transferred to Seattle for treatment. Unfortunately, we've seen these shootings across the country. We had dreaded this day in this community, but we were prepared to handle these kids when they came here. A day they dreaded and are now left to deal with the aftermath and attempt to figure out what went wrong. In Washington, D.C., I'm Ryan Nobles.